Okay, here's a video in Windows 7 on how to back up some drivers. For example, let's see, you're in Device Manager and Network Adapters. I want to create a backup for this driver. It's a wireless network card driver. Okay, and to back up that driver, I will use driver genius so let's start the program driver genius okay and let's go to driver backup now it's scanning all the drivers on this computer and then we should select the driver which is needed that is the wireless local area network it's a small USB adapter that I plugged in into this computer okay so let's see where that driver could be currently used drivers let's open that one network adapters yes it's here and is this one real tech wireless local area network it's a USB adapter okay so I'm going to uncheck everything like so and check only that one so I want to back up only this driver okay let's click on the next button and select backup type it should I mean it can create a zip archive self extracting whatever this is a simple folder so I will select the default okay and choose the place where to save the driver click on the browse button I want to place it let's say onto the desktop and OK and it won't let me choose a name for that folder unless I create a folder OK so that's fine it will save it on the desktop click next and that's it here's the folder that was created backup was successful so we can click on finish and we can close the program itself and here's the driver in this folder it the program created this folder it also created a file name i mean a folder name which has the exact details of that network adapter and here are the files themselves that's a sys file 600 kilobytes and the rest of them are much smaller Okay, you can install this driver later. I will press Windows and break, Windows key and break. You can install it from here from Device Manager. And let's say go to Network Adapters. And if this one does not have a driver, then it should have a yellow exclamation mark there. Double click on it and go to driver and update driver and then select that folder and you, sh you can install that driver that way. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.